trip coming up. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. I'm leaving on Wednesday. I'm going home to see my family in Mississippi, and then we're also going to go to the beach down on the Gulf Coast. I have been diligently fighting the urge to panic sew a new wardrobe, which is, it's crazy when I say it out loud, but if you like to sew, or if you just like to shop, or if you just like clothing, I feel like there's always that urge to accumulate new things to bring with you on a trip because you're going to be outside of your normal space and you're going to be doing things and you want to look cute. So I've been mostly successful in not panic sewing things. Although I did go to Joanne Fabrics a few days ago and bought a bunch of linen because they were having a sale, but I got all of that fabric prepped and ready because I was convincing myself that I was going to make like two pairs of pants yesterday, like in a day. And I ended up not doing that because I was starting to stress myself out. <laughs> Anyhow, today what I would like to do is go through my wardrobe and try on some of my spring and summer clothing, try to put some outfits together, try to figure out what I'm actually going to bring and create myself. I'm not gonna call it a capsule wardrobe. It's not gonna be a capsule wardrobe because I definitely am gonna pack as much as I can get into that suitcase. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of see what combinations of items I like, see if I can kind of create some new item combinations. I'm gonna start trying on some clothes. So first up, I have some linen pants. Now I made these pants last summer, actually probably like early fall, and I did a video on these pants. Now I love a good pair of wide leg linen pants. I also have another pair of linen wide leg pants and the wide leg pants that I recently got from ThreadUp. So I think I'm covered on wide leg, like summer pants. Anyhow, I really do love them. I feel like they're very versatile, they're very comfortable, and they are a style that you can dress up pretty easily or dress down pretty easily. And I typically love to wear them with just a very simple tank top. And I did get some new Tevas. These are the platform, I think they're called platform Tevas. And I'll link those in the description if you'd like to check those out. I really like these Tevas. I think that the platform sole on these is just really cute. And I know I'm gonna be wearing these a bunch and they're also really comfortable. So anyway, I like this look with the wide leg pants, the Tevas and the simple black tank top, just really simple jewelry. So last spring I did a few videos, kind of self-drafting videos. I started out with a skirt sloper pattern and then I showed how to turn that into a pair of pants. And then I ended up making these pants out of that kind of progression of pattern drafting videos that I did. All of the items that I made in those videos are items that I really have enjoyed and, and love how they turned out. So anyway, I definitely think I'm gonna be bringing these particular linen pants. I do have another pair of linen pants I do wanna try on really quickly. They're a little bit more cropped and I kinda of just wanna see how they look with the Tevas. So these are from a really, really great beginner friendly McCall's pattern that I highly recommend. I've talked about it here before on the channel. It comes as shorts and I just lengthened it into pants. I have worn these pants so freaking much. I wear them all the time. This fabric is a linen viscose blend that I picked up at Joann Fabrics. And I love this especially because it does have a great flow to it. Fantastic pair of pants. I love them. I'm going to choose between these or those other ones, the longer ones. I'm going to pick one because I don't need to bring two pairs of natural colored linen pants on my trip. But I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of variations on that type of pant. And this one is actually an elastic waist pant all the way around. The other ones were flat front with a little bit of elastic in the back and a back zip, so. All right, the linen love fest continues. This is another linen item that I made last spring or summer. And this is actually from a vintage pattern that I found at the thrift store for a wrap skirt and wrap skirt. I love this little pattern. I've actually worn this quite a bit. And the only thing that I need to do to this is actually is sew a couple of stabilizing stitches in the crotch because it does kind of get a little stretched out sometimes after wearing it. So I might actually do that if I decide to bring this with me, I need to do that. I don't know if you can still get that pattern or not, but one thing to note is that this pattern called for a straight waistband and I made it as the pattern called for it and I need that curved waistband. Curving the waistband makes such a huge difference, especially if you have a little bit of a sway back. So I did end up replacing the waistband with a curved waistband and it is so much more wearable now, so much more comfortable and it just sits properly on my waist. Um, I love this and I probably will bring this because I just think it's adorable and I actually really love it with my little, I love everything that I'm wearing so far with these Tevas. And again, I got this linen at Joann Fabrics. I get a lot of my linen there and I have heard people before complain that Joann doesn't have a great selection. Um, that has not been my experience. I actually find a lot of really great basics at Joann. So they do have a nice mix of linen and linen blend fabrics that I really like. I do find that sometimes their color selection can be a little bit limited, but when I do need something kind of more basic, like a basic linen or linen blend or like basic knits, 
they really do come through. So I do end up going there quite a lot. If you are looking for a nice range of colors and linens and other basics, I highly recommend you check out Blackbird Fabrics. They do have some really beautiful linens, like washed linens and cottons, and I mean, all kinds of great apparel fabrics. They're based in Canada. They do ship internationally, I believe. And I've gotten a lot of fabric from them in the past. They just curate their colors really well. So that's another um, hot tip if you're looking for some beautiful linen. So this is just another variation with the wide leg linen pants. I've kind of changed up the shoes here. These are actually a pair of Sorrel sandals that I bought. I mean, it's probably been three years ago now and I've gotten so much use out of these sandals and they still are in excellent condition. Like these are some really great quality shoes that I would highly recommend. I don't know if they have this particular like pewter color anymore, but it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. I feel like I've dressed these up and down. I feel like they look really cute with a pair of wide leg pants and they do look a little dressier than my Tevas. And so I figured this outfit could be something cute to wear to dinner one night or something when we're on the beach. And this is the top that I did a thrift flip on last week in last week's video. So I thrifted a dress and turned it into a cute little peplum top. And I'm really, really pleased with how that turned out. And I do plan to wear it with like high-waisted pants. So I did it a little bit cropped, um, but I think this turned out pretty cute. Okay, so speaking of the thrift flipped tank top, this little skirt was made from the leftover fabric of the skirt from that dress that I cut off into a top. I started filming the process of making this skirt, but I was kind of figuring it out as I went along and I was getting really frustrated trying to film and like troubleshoot at the same time. So I ended up not filming it. And actually my inspiration for this little wrap skirt came from that same pattern that I used to make the wrap skirt that I showed you a minute ago. And I was gonna use that pattern but it called for a little bit more fabric than I had left over from that skirt. And I was almost positive at the time. I was like 99% sure that I had plenty of fabric to do a wrap skirt. So I was like, I can figure this out. I do see this as just being like a little bathing suit cover up. But basically I just made sure that I had enough to wrap around my body one and a half times at the hips, the widest point. And then I kind of took in the waist a little bit at the back and the sides to make it fit a little bit closer at the top. And I added a button on the interior portion of the wrap. And then I just added a little extra tie to the side here so that I could tie the end of the skirt to it. And it came together pretty quickly once I stopped trying to film it. So Huxley, why are you acting out? He's wild and out over here. It also worked out great because I have a navy blue swimsuit. So this is not my swimsuit. This is actually just a sports, like a long line sports bra tank thing. Um, but my swimsuit is navy blue. So it kind of matches the skirt colors. I thought that was really cute but it was a great use of that fabric. So very happy that I was able to repurpose that entire dress into two new pieces that I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. And speaking of bathing suit cover-ups, one thing that I often do in the summertime is just wear my birdie button-up as a bathing suit cover-up. This is a pattern that I sell in my pattern shop and these are a pair of linen shorts that I also made from that same McCall's pattern. Now these shorts are my like comfy shorts during the summertime. So I wear them around the house. I don't wear them out as much, but I do think that they work really well as a bathing suit cover up because they're really lightweight and kind of flowy. And then I also really love having a great pair of cutoff denim shorts for the summertime. I wear those a lot in the summertime. So this is a pair of thrifted jeans that I just cut off into shorts. So I have a couple pair that I just kind of have on rotation <laughs> in my wardrobe that I wear all summer long. So definitely we'll be bringing those and these shorts as well. Now these are the jeans that I thrifted a couple weeks ago and then just took in the waist to make them fit me a little bit better. They fit perfect in the butt and the thighs for kind of a little bit more relaxed fit, but they were just way too big in the waist for me. And that's a problem that I run into a lot with store-bought pants. So I just kind of learned early on how to do that alteration and I do it to almost every single pair of pants that I get from the store. So in last week's video, I kind of gave a rough overview of how I do that. And then I also have a video here on my channel for how to make a jeans waist bigger that I'll put down in the description. Now this little black square neck tee is one of the earlier iterations of my Bridget tee pattern that I recently released. It's made out of like a brushed poly spandex, I think, and it's a really, really lightweight fabric. It's very, very comfortable. And I think it'll just be nice to have like a long sleeve option to bring with me on the trip in case it is a little chilly one day or one evening. This is definitely my day-to-day -day style. Very basic with jeans and t-shirts and I wear a lot of jeans. I've been incorporating a few more dresses into my wardrobe as well. The nice thing about a square neck tee is that it is still very comfortable, but because it has that nice square neckline, it kind of elevates the tee a little bit. <laughs> this dog is like pulling out. He's like trying to tear up my sock. Now he just pulled a piece of scrap fabric out of my closet. He is acting out big time. Huxley, don't do that. That's not nice. Oh, give me that. Me. 
So in addition to all of the things that I'm showing you guys today, I am also planning to bring the dress that I made last week. I really love how that one turned out. That was like a thrift flip from a Calvin Klein dress that I found at the thrift store. And I have a whole video on the thrift flips that I did last week. I'll probably also bring a pair of tennis shoes. I do have some little Dr. Stoll's sneakers. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, but they're actually pretty comfy. I'll probably bring those and wear them on the plane as well. Cause I have a weird thing about wearing sandals in the airport and taking off my shoes and anyway, yeah. But I love the spring and the summertime, especially for making my own clothes and doing thrift flips. I mean, for sewing, spring and summer is my absolute favorite season to sew for because you can find projects that are, you know, don't require as much downtime. You can do them pretty quickly. You can use really lightweight floaty fabrics like linen and cotton that are really easy to work with. If you're trying to learn how to sew or if you're thinking about it, starting this time of year is like the perfect time to start because you can find so many beginner friendly patterns and they look great. They actually do work well, they wear really well in your wardrobe and can be very versatile pieces. So this is another piece that I made last spring and this is just a really simple, actually it was I guess in the summertime. Anyway, last summer I made this dress and it's just a really simple dress. It's just a rectangle with pleats across the bust so that it kind of gathers the bust a little bit and then the rest is just left flowy. Before last summer, I really didn't wear dresses and skirts as much as I would wear like pants and shorts. This dress has converted me into a dress lover. I have worn this dress so much and I'm actually, don't wanna talk about this. I'm actually working on a pattern for this dress. Um, I do have a video here on my channel where I showed how I made this dress and it is really simple to make. However, I do wanna create a pattern that has some bust cup options because I think right, my camera ran out of memory. So I had to take some stuff off the camera. So if the framing's a little different, that's why. Anyhow, what I was saying is I am working on a pattern for this dress. I have loved wearing this dress. I just wanted to create some bust cup options because as I've sewn this right now, it doesn't have like any shaping in the bust. It's just kind of pleated across here. If I wanted to wear a more traditional bra with this, it would be a little too tight in the bust. So right now I'm not wearing a bra with this. I'm just wearing some nippies, nipple covers to kind of conceal and make things look a little bit more round and less pokey, you know, um, and also kind of prevent chafing. But yeah, I think um, turning this into a pattern and adding a little bit of a bust dart at the side here to provide a little bit of extra shaping over the bust so that if you did want to do like a thicker strap and wear it with a bra, you could do that. So stay tuned for that. I don't have like a release date on that. I'm still working on the pattern, but um, it is something that I'm working on. Oh, and another thing I wanted to share. So with dresses, one of the reasons that I didn't wear dresses that much before was thigh chafe. Like if it's hot outside and you're walking around a lot and your thighs are rubbing together, it can be really uncomfortable and also modesty. You know, I didn't want my dress to fly up in the wind and like if I'm wearing a shorter dress and show my underwear. So one thing that I have started wearing are these little biker shorts. So I got some last year that were like a nylon spandex material. They worked great. I brought those with me on my trip to Spain and wore them a lot. The only thing I don't like about that nylon spandex material is that, you know, it's kind of, it just, it doesn't feel that great when things get a little bit sweaty. It, I mean, it's supposed to be moisture wicking, but it just kind of grossed me out. I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's like a synthetic fabric and wearing it for like hours on end when you're sweating and walking around a lot. It just, it feels like wearing pantyhose under your dress. So I didn't love that, but I just recently bought some of these little biker shorts from Parade, but they are made out of like a rayon spandex. Rayon is considered a semi-synthetic material, but it is made from a natural fiber. I just find that it's a little bit softer and more comfortable against the skin. And they're just really super lightweight shorts. I just like having something more natural, like in the crotch region, if you know what I mean. I'm getting a little too personal here, but I also plan to bring my Pilcro pants that I thrifted from ThreadUp. I love those pants. They're just a really cute wide leg pant. I'll be bringing those, just give myself another option. I feel like you can't have too many pairs of wide leg pants. But yeah, I think that that is all that I wanna try on right now. I'll also bring some like pajamas and bras, underwear, essentials, that kind of stuff. And um, also I'm bringing my swimsuits. So I have made swimsuits in the past and I don't love making swimsuits. I feel like swimwear is one of those things. Oh, here comes Tux. I feel like swimwear is one of those things that I can usually find pretty easily. Um, I usually wear a two piece. So, you know, I do have a long torso. So I do often have a hard time finding like one piece swimsuits that I love. So I don't love making swimwear. I have made a couple of really cute swimsuits. I end up just wearing my store-bought swimsuits anyway. So I will bring a few swimsuits um, that I'm, I don't feel like trying on swimsuits here. I'm gonna sift through all these things now and figure out what I'm actually going to bring. I do need to get everything packed tonight because tomorrow morning I am gonna go work out and I'm gonna come home, get a shower, get ready, catch the Michigan Flyer, 
and head to Detroit to the airport there. And then um, I don't have to leave until later in the day, but uh, I do have some things I want to do in the morning. So I'm going to try to get most of my stuff packed tonight, which I don't usually, I'm usually like a last minute packer, like all the time. And then yeah, my flight leaves tomorrow and I'm excited to go home and see my family. We're supposed to be getting some bad weather, which I am not excited about. And I'm hoping it doesn't delay me tomorrow. <sighs> so we'll see. Okay.